was under the Now, what are you learning in the United States? Um, so, if you're going to ask me that um, question, <laughs> I learned a lot. Uh, I learned a lot. Um, but uh, for me, the most important is when we, um, when we said, uh, um, uh, what? Please, my.
So, good afternoon to everyone. This is my project plan. So, my action plan it is to walk to a green future. So, it is a tree growing project. So, so this, uh, so this uh, tree growing project is something like we are going to visit to the trees, to be specific, at the river banks. So, this river bank is just here in our in our uh, barangay, and it's just uh, a couple, of, I think, 100 meters or. Um, 20 to 50 mi uh, meters from our barangay. So this river bank is just near, very, very near in our barangay. And there are plenty of trees which was planted in that river banks. And when the floods strike our barangay, there are plenty of uh, some of the calamities. That's why many of our organizations planted trees. But um, no one cares about those trees and no one so much like come back and see if those trees live and if those trees are surviving. So, um, my project is uh, <laughs> so um, our, our my tree growing project is my target is to tap at least 100 volunteers to give a uh, Growth uh, assessment, or I would like to guide them to guide the trees to grow healthier. And what we're going to do is just we're going to visit the trees, then we're going to clean its surroundings. Then, if it is needed to put the fertilizer, we're going to put the fertilizer. But the very important thing is to put the um, tree guards on the on the tree. So my target is to have at least uh, 100 tree guards to be put on at least 100 trees. So, about the sustainability of that project, I can assure the sustainability because uh, those trees are planted by different organizations in our community and they are also responsible to come back to view if those trees will survive and I will just make the new start or just tap them or just awake them from, from being something blinded by those, by those issues about those trees which they planted. So, this project I think will be continuous after after the years. So, for the sustainability, we're going to visit the trees at least once a month. So, uh, in me, I can visit it once a month, but all of the organizations just, just in the community can visit, this, can visit it as much as possible. Um, I'm going to tap the Sangguniang Kabataan, since I'm one of the counselors. I'm going also to tap the um, Superior Student Government Officers of the London National High School. So, my community project is based in London, Palomino, South Cotabato. So, London National High School is just very near the river, so they can even uh, visit it. Then, uh, I will also tap the um, ka so that, that, that was the youths in our in our community so that they will be able also to help for this uh, green lantern. So and this is my repertoire stage. The, this this was also my program implementation stage. And implementation stage, then uh, my budget also was, was made and this was my my, my and um, I've also made my actual date Im implementation, but the date is, I think I was just uh, es estimate that, but within this June or first week of July, I must do this project so that uh, at least I can also assist if there's, if uh, I can see if there's problems and I can, and I can somewhat like give solutions to those trees who will not grow, who will not, who will not grow in a very good, uh, abundant manner. So, this project will be very, very successful since there are plenty of trees in our community. And actually, before I went here, uh, I have also made my community assessment and I have some pictures for you to show. So, this was our, uh, this was uh, the trees in our barangay, but they were not, they were not some like um, clean and, yes. That was the siblings in our barangay, but they were not uh, somewhat like maintained. Then, uh, then, what's that one? Okay, where's your So, you can see that the, the three, I think, cannot survive.
teachers who are going to visit those trees and they will clean those. Uh, so like this is the tree, the surroundings of it, so that uh, so that there will be no grass or some of that grass, yes, weeds. And uh, we're going to put tree guard at that so that it can guard its growth. And if if we need to put some fertilizers, we can put it. But the soil in the Philippines, are, in our barangay, is very fertile. And we can also replace those trees who died, so that uh, so that it will be sort of like so that the, so that that space will not will not be some waste. So. And uh, also in the river banks there are plenty of garbages, so we can also collect those garbages and put it on the sap or or put it something anywhere. And and we have also in our barangay we have sort of like a house which we're going to put all our garbages, so we can put those garbages there. But but my main project is all about tree growing. And this is not a new project; you're continuing the project of Sir. Joven. Joven. So, so Joven is a BYU alumni, uh, BYU alumni, uh, alum, alumni, and his project is the Green Lantern, which he, pra he he planted trees. So my project is tree growing, which I which is uh, to make sure that those plants which planted with different organization will grow, um, will grow. It's kind of hard, but I can do that because uh, in the Sabina Kabataan, we have 50 scholars, so I can tap the 50 scholars. Then, then in the Supreme Student Government Council, there's 30, 30 officers, so I can tap that, maybe 80, 80 participants. In the Supreme Student Government Council, we can tap the other organization in the school, since they are the mother organization. And I have also friends and uh, many connections in the school, so that's right. I think I can make that 100 participants. Yes. I'm sorry for making that snacks. But my budget is... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So that, that is my budget. So my main, my main budget goes to the, to the tree guard. So tree guard, uh, I budgeted it by at least 20 bucks each. Because we, we, we would just use the bamboo. And because those trees are a little bit bigger, so I think if, if the bamboo will be destroyed, the trees is already big and it can grow on its own. And we will, we will only use those bamboo and uh, wood in there and nails. But we can also hire someone to make, but our target is at least 200 um, tree guards. Yes, but if we but if we cannot make it for one for one day, we can we can extend it because we will make this project by June 29. So we can still extend it by July first week. Because most of the trees are really surrounded by yes. trees, so you have to pull those weeds. And also after pulling those weeds, we will also put those. You can see that in my budget there is a slogan in there. So we will make those slow slogans to to make all the people aware about those those trees for for example let's keep this area clean and green let's love the let's, let's love the trees and we're going to put put that on the river banks or some of those areas in there where plenty of trees so that they will also be aware. Yes. Most of the most of the people most of the people in the community are educated sir since there are plenty of schools. They're elementary and high school in our community. Well, I'm doing many things in this program. Um, the best thing I learned is, is that this intercultural, um, this intercultural learning, because in our community there are plenty of, of cultures, there are plenty of traditions, and uh, uh, through this program I learned how to mingle with them. I learned how to how to go with other how to go with other people, how to lead them, how to see just only those uh, those the same thing in you and all your differences. I learned also to love their, to love the different cultures. And I'm also being aware by the environment. And since I got here, I think I became an environmental lover because uh, I saw many things in the aquarium, in the when we visited uh, many places, and I I learned that uh, we must take care of everything. And I also learned those uh, some of like the 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 reforestation, the
preservation of forests by Sir Mitchell Irwin in the preservation of the forest in, Madag in Madagascar. And I also learned many things special on the movies that we must be aware because so many, many animals and people are being affected by these problems.
and may cause an imbalance in, in the environment. So my project is a four-word project. The first one is a poster-making project, which I will be uh, tapping a local school there, the Immaculate Heart of Mary Academy. Second is a cleanup drive, which will not happen on the same day, which will happen, um, the poster-making would happen on June, like second or third week of June, while the cleanup would happen on the third, uh, third week of July, or maybe earlier. And then uh, uh, the clean up drive is for like getting all the garbage so that it will minimize the risk of the turtles eating those garbage and actually dying because of it. Third is the provision of turtle guards. These turtle guards are like big walls which are which you can pull out of the sand and put it back. Um, it, uh, this is to provide protection for the turtles, uh, the baby turtles, which are uh, which are still in their eggs, and the thing is, it will not be for uh, it will not be put there forever. So uh, the local people have pledged that if the turtles would be hatching, they would be removing the fences, and then the turtle uh, they make small passageways from the uh, upper parts of the coastline going down, so that the turtles can go to the ocean. And lastly, I will provide a, uh, not, not necessarily me, but together with the Department of Agriculture and the Veterans Office in, our, in, that lo in, in my local community, in our local community, um, they will be giving a seminar about uh, the protection of turtles and how important it 